Hello and welcome back. Please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. It helps the channel out. Thank you. So we continue with our messages. Now, they kind of look wide here. These uh, Because look, the message is quite small, but uh, there's a lot of space here. And that's because if we go to our messages left or right, there's these two break tags over here. So I can remove those two break tags there. Save that and come back here and remove those as well. And now let's refresh. Okay, they are much thinner now and uh, they look better. At least we don't waste so much space. Okay, so this is well and good, but let's deal with the delete button now. Now, if I do click on delete, for example, if I click delete, you'll find that uh, there is no such post found. Hmm. So although delete is for deleting posts, we can still leverage it to delete messages as well, because at the end of the day, we still want to ask the user whether or not they want to delete. We just don't want to click here and the post is gone because we may click by mistake. So we want to be able to see what's going on before we accept. So here, I will click on one of these and let's try and delete the one one more message here I will click boom, delete let's go to delete.php and see exactly what's going on there so I will go delete.php so right here how exactly are we uh, are we looking for what we get here so everything here is the, about the user. Hey, do I own the content? Uh, get one post if this is set. And so it seems here where we get one post, we didn't return a result. So no such post was found. Mm -hmm. So because there are two of these errors and you want to know which one is actually running, let's just put a one at the end of one of these. And sure enough, it's the one with the one. So we know it's actually getting to this point. So we're not getting one of those. So now let's look at the difference between when we are deleting a message and when we are deleting a post. So there's a very significant difference here. The ID here, for the message is non-numeric if you look at it so let me go to um, let me go to my yes there and let's click delete here and as you can see the delete here is numeric or numbers but when deleting a message it definitely is not numbers so we can use that to determine what to retrieve and how are we retrieving a single message if you may ask let me go to messages.php and let's come down here and see how we retrieve messages so where is that so this is the line that actually reads from the message class from all messages there so that's what we need there but we need the ability to be able to read just one message when we need to okay so let's go to our classes messages.php and let's look at this uh, function right here where it says read so this one takes a user id and brings us all the messages in that thread but we want to be able to read just one message using uh, let's see what we can use here so let me go back to this uh, database here and as you can see the message ID is similar on here and there so which means we cannot use the message ID to determine a single message instead we need to use an ID now the problem with an ID is that it's numeric and so it's no different from a post so how exactly will we know where to read from whether do we read from the uh, the message or do we read from the posts when trying to delete 
Okay, so let's figure that out just now. But before we do that, let's find a way to... Oh, sorry there. Let's create one more function here. And let me duplicate these. So this one is read1. Let's just uh, call it read1 like that. And then we will just get the ID. And this is the raw ID of that message. So everything here is fine. And there's user ID there. We will not be needing this, so out. But what we will need to know is if me is either uh, right if me is either a sender or a recipient that's very important so if sender is equal to me and let's remove this one with user id or receiver is equal to me something like this hmm? since it's just one we don't need to order we can just say limit one So select all for messages where sender is equal to me or, so let me remove that in the middle and that too. We don't need the brackets though. So if this is true, then we return. Now we don't need to sort because it's just one item and we will only return the first item in here. Now we have to ask if this is an array that way we are not forced to return something uh, an empty array though okay so here we will say return this or return false like that okay pretty good 